uh, perfect your poetry. We have such a wonderful, diverse neighborhood. Things are happening here in Spanish Harlem, things that we've never seen before. We're beginning to look like the old Spanish Harlem when I was young. We had that melting pot. We had the Italians on First Avenue. We had, we was on like Fifth Avenue. We couldn't come across Park Avenue back in them days because, you know, we had the gangs. Like you see that, what's that movie, The West Side Story? The West Side Jets Story. The, what was it, The Jets and the Sharks? What was the name of the two gangs? The Jets and the Sharks. And the Sharks, yeah. So that's how we were back in the day. So we had poetry to do or events like this. We had to actually have a reserved seating if he was coming into this part of town. Because the Italians said, uh-huh, you got to check with us first. So just to see everything coming back to what it is today is a wonderful, wonderful experience. Now, like I told you, this is the place where we practice that. So you will not see me do ever a piece that I know really well. You'll probably just see me do something that I'm just trying to master for a bigger stage, a bigger setting. So if I fail, that gives inspiration to the other poets who of just starting out. If they see me fail, they say, all right, all right, he can mess up and I can mess up too. So let's go with um, this piece I wrote. It's in my book. The, excuse the title. The Nigger Chronicles, the Mispronunciation of Hawaii. So this piece is titled, uh, I Love You Mean. I love you, Nina. Don't let her take me. Don't let her handle me. Oh, hey. She hurt me, Nina. She never loved me. She could never love me like you do, Nina. Your beautiful black face. A black face that represented an unequal race. Like the ebony keys on a piano's face. When they killed Mega Evers and when they bombed that Birmingham church killing those four little black girls, it was you, Nina Simone, who sang Mississippi Goddamn. Well, Nina, 50 years later, they are burning churches down again. The they are trying to erase the years of progress and so-called equality. They want to erase the, eradicate the ebony and only acknowledge the ivories. Mississippi, goddamn. Nina Simone, we need you. Come back. Our kids need you. They need your inspiration. Their lives are filled with parental separation. The music they hear is filled with degradation. Some as young as 13 are living a life of emancipation. Their life is ruled by the street signs. Dog, dog, law, law, law. Nina Simone, come back. Nina, our young women are not being loved anymore. Or being loved like they should. Men step on them like an old shaggy rug. And I'm like you, Nina, they can't sing feeling good or my baby just cares for me, none of that. Instead, they become teen mothers surrendering their young, their gifted, and their black. Nina Simone, come back. It's been 2003 since you left me. She hurt me. She used me, she never loved me. And she took everything I got. I love you, Nina. Don't let her take me. Don't let her handle me and drive me mad. I love you, Nina Simone. Please come back. Now, stop it and just start it again. I forgot half of that poem. But see, in poetry, this is what I'm trying to tell the young people. You forget, you roll with it. You hear me? You forget, you roll with it. Make up something. Sometimes I just snap my fingers and get y'all to snap too, while I'm really trying to memorize what's going on. Sometimes I get a twitch. I be like, ooh, they think you dance. I be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm really trying to memorize what the next poem is going to be. So let's see what we're going to give you now. I got to do something. That... Okay, I'm going to do something that I used to read. It's, it's funny, because they said my poetry is too heavy. Now, now you two people here, how are you? What's your name? Rebecca. Rebecca and? 